parked up there and today I'm at Avebury. I've dropped my brother off, he's doing a, a shamanic drum birthing course with Heron Drums, a guy called Jonathan, really nice chap. Sammy's already done one, she's made her own drum. And I made one many moons ago with a friend of mine called Phil, sadly no longer with us, a shamanic healer, bless his heart. But we're gonna take you around today and have a look at Avebury. It's a huge megalithic site of spiritual and national and world importance in Wiltshire. So I'm gonna take you around there now and show you. How do you like that? Right, let's go and pay for the car park because the machines are knackered. See you in a bit. So we're just heading over to this huge barn here. Look at that. Thatched barn. And if the car park machine's not working, that's where you pay for the car park. Now, that's the little shop. I'm going to go in in a second. And this is the visitor centre. So just waiting for that to open at the moment. So this is inside this barn. Look at that. There's lots of boards here with different information on about the area. This is a fantastic building. The National Trust are just amazing for keeping our history. There's some more information. Well, I'm putting these posters and billboards and information up. Just give it a pause. Can you 
And you can read all about it, as they say. Well, I'm going to go in a shop, have a little look in a shop, and then I'm going to go round the circle. So this is the shop. All full of your local knickknacks and more good Christmas stuff. All National Trust stuff. So we come out from this visitor centre and we're greeted by this start of these huge megaliths. Look at those. It's hard to believe our ancestors put these here. There's two over there which I believe are the portal stones which used to be the entrance to this great megalithic site. Now mega Obviously it means mega, big, and lithic is rock, stone. Hence Neolithic, when you've heard that term before, that means new. Neo is new, lithic rock, so the new stone age. But look at these. Gotta run your hands over them, oh, it just feels amazing. And after that trip up the tour yesterday, that was like being plugged into a plug socket energy wise there. Absolutely fantastic. So this was all found and excavated in the early 1800s. They couldn't find all the stones. It's probably moved, broken up and used in local buildings. But these were put in place of where the stones would have stood. These pyramidical shaped stones. Now when this was excavated, it was around about the time that they discovered Tutankhamun's tomb in Egypt. If my memory serves me correctly. So we was all a bit Egyptian then. So the guy, well, I can't quite remember his name, who discovered this and excavated it all, decided to build these pyramidical shaped stones to place as markers for where the original megaliths would have stood. But look at that one. And bearing in mind these have been here for what, 6,000 years, maybe? Who knows? 6,000 years? So they've weathered a hell of a lot. What would they have looked like back then? Who knows? It's insane, isn't it? This is just buzzing, this area. It's a really weird sensation to be here. And they dug all these ditches out. All by hand. Didn't have an excavator. Look at that. And that bank that side. And this goes for a long, long way. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna walk down into Avebury itself. Because that's where I've dropped Mark off. And go and have a look there, see what's about. Yeah, I love it here. It's fantastic. Look at that. The size of it. Let me put you down and 
I'll stand in front of it just to give you an idea just how big that stone is. I think these may be portal stones, these two here. But I'll put you down and show you how big this thing is. It's incredible isn't it the size of those things they're just absent and this one here is bigger even still absolute madness that our ancestors took and this was a work in progress they obviously didn't throw this up like we throw houses up now this was done over hundreds and hundreds of years the old sheep over there It's part of the, the pilgrimage across the country, which has Stonehenge amongst the megaliths. I'm going to walk down there, because I think that takes you back into Avery itself. And there's a couple of little shops there. I like a bit of shopping. There's a couple of little shops there, I don't want to take you in. But the sheer scale of it is insane. And it's right close to Stonehenge itself. So we're going to tonight, once Mark's finished his course, and birthed his shamanic drum, we're then going to go and park up on the drove at Stonehenge and watch the sun go down by the stones. That calls that. And the more exciting thing is I'm taking you with me. You're a lucky old lot you are. Ooh, a pub. Hmm. Let's go and have a look at that shop. So that star child, we went into the um, Glastonbury. I bought some bits out there, but what a lovely little shop. Look at all this stuff. Beautiful. Oh, I love little shops like this. Little gems. Oh, moon gazing hairs. Aren't they? Altar cloth. So pop you on any garden, mate. I've got those. Oh no. 
trust sticks. Better get Sammy some. Oh, Mark will get one of those. I'll get one of those. Trust stick holders. Fabulous. I'll definitely come back here with Sammy and Raven. Come and have a look. Right. See what I can buy. What a lovely shop. Woohoo! Stuff for everyone else, not for me. Oh no, I do actually get myself something. But there's another shop down there I'm going to go into. That's a lovely shop. The ladies in there are fantastic. Really nice, really nice girls in there. I'm just going to have a look down this shop, here, and have a moment. Look at this pub. The Red Lion in Avery. Look at that. That's fabulous, isn't it? Fat pub. Absolutely beautiful. And there's another shop down here. So there's just sort of one road around Avery. When you come through Avery, the car parks back over in that direction. Don't drive down that road because your sat nav tells you to go down there. Because it narrows out. And when you get to the end, there's just enough room to turn a 7.1 metre motorhome around. Just. Don't ask me how I know that, eh? Anyway, there's another shop here. Let's go and have a look in there. This shop's like a little community grocer's. Look at that, it's well cool. Raven, isn't that beautiful? Very autumn -y. Absolutely gorgeous. I love these things, they're brilliant, aren't they? But yeah, it's a little village shop. I'll have a little look in there, but there's another one here. The Henge Shop, which interested me. More crystals and stuff I can buy for Sammy. Let's have a look in here. Just a word with a lovely lady who owns this crystal park. Unfortunately, I can't take you around the whole shop because there's different artists that have got different work in there. You can't put that up because it's their individual art. But look at some of these crystals. Spending more money now. That is a bookshop. Just had a mooch around now. Used to be an old stable block, that. And they've got the original cobbles on the ground. Right, now it's heating up now, so what I might do is walk back to the van, dump this lot off, and then have a proper walk around the stone circles. Let's go do that, eh? I'll show you some megaliths. But this ivy is a live, very important source of late food, this ivy, these ivy flowers. Let's see. Absolutely buzzing. All sorts of flies and bees. Beautiful. We've got hawthorn berries. Beautiful hawthorn berries. Strengthening for the heart and the veins. You can buy a tincture, hawthorn tincture, of the leaves and the berries. If you've got high cholesterol, it helps with cholesterol. And also, it repairs your veins and your arteries. And if you've got floppy veins and arteries, if you've got heart problems, etc., it gives them a greater elasticity. It's pretty cool, isn't it? From a plant. Who would have thought it? 
beautiful privet hedge. Keep your eye on these because for decades people have been feeding their stick insects on privet and some get let go on privet hedges and I've actually found stick insects on a privet hedge before in Essex so I always keep my eye out for that also you've got the privet hawk moth caterpillar which is a huge old big old caterpillar beautiful so I always keep an eye on them and in, in the spring you cannot beat the smell of a privet hedge sadly people chop them all down and put little flipping fences up which buggers all the birds up which is why we've got no sparrows anymore because people have dug up there look at this look got no sparrows anymore because people have dug all the hedgerows up killed the habitat well done right, so Mark's down there and I'm going to walk around these megaliths here I've been down there that's where the National Trust place is all the centre and the shop and stuff and these are the megaliths they start around here look at that building you'd like to live there really beautiful day today good to be alive I feel energised we've been to some powerful places full of energy that little shop there is like a little dairy they've got like a milk sale place in there you put your bottle in get milk out pretty cool so there we go there's the first megalith that's a weird shape one isn't it you can see what I was talking about here with these pyramidical shaped marker stones I mean, I'm walking stick out look I'll keep two walking sticks in the van because as my old mate Unky Stu says you've got to have a stick for pointing and poking things I always used to take a tracking stick I might do a little video I might do a video on a tracking stick I've got a tracking stick which are easy to make and aid you in tracking but when I do my tracking video in Hatfield Forest I shall show you how to make one, how to use one. I think that'd be beneficial. Let's have a mooch around here. Look at this, amongst all the sheep. Can you imagine what this place was like? There's literally energy pouring out of this place. I just feel really goosebumpy and buzzy without sounding too woo woo. Oh, look, there's the old sheep. This one there is having a kip. Bless him. Oh, her. You having a kip, mate? Mm. That's pooey bum bum. Right, let's cross the road. So if you've never been to Wiltshire, West Country, it's a beautiful place. It's like stereotypical, iconic, rolling British, English countryside. And uh, it's littered with archaeology. And these big megaliths. And when people used to go on their pilgrimages down from literally as far as the Shetland and the Orkney Isles, all the way down, follow the energy lines, come down through this magical landscape, and there must be a reason, there's a reason why they stopped here. And these two stones here are the portal stones I was telling you about, to get you out of here. Look at those, they are flipping massive. Now this is, say the portal stones, this would have took you through into the actual stone circle itself. Mm. Literally, you feel your jaw, jaw tight as you go through these things. Weird. Look at that. Yeah. 
wonder how many bums that's seen. Let's see mine too. Oh. Uh, yeah, Paul's doing not well. This is insane sitting in here. Look at it. Absolutely stunning. Real good energy, fantastic weather. I mean, we've been knowing we've been coming here for months and months and months. And uh, obviously, the weather knew we was coming, but this sounds really strange in here. Really weird. Right, let's show you up on top of this hill here. show you the surrounding countryside but look at the sheer scale of it it's huge absolutely huge and all this done by hand can you imagine what this would have looked like back in those days when all these megaliths were all of a certain shape and size beautiful beach trees I told you about the beach before and let's go up here, take you up here, eh? So as far as the eye can see, you've got these megaliths. Look at the countryside around here. Look, they're all the way Ooh. over there. Go all the way down there. Through here. Goes around in a mega circle. Look at this ditch that runs all the way through there. Goes all the way over there. It's absolutely massive. Stunning. So let's take you for a little walk. This is a little stand of four beech trees. Look at the roots underneath there. That's what I was telling you about in the last in my last long video I did about Hatfield Forest. If you can see the root system now, that's why you don't get anything growing underneath the beech trees. But look at this, look. Very spiritual place, these are all the wishes and fetishes that people have put up in the tree. Ribbons, little notes. It's an incredible place. And there's the base of the trees. There's the roots, look at them. Those trees are insane. Absolutely buzzing. Beautiful. I'm going to cross this little road now into another part. This is the largest megalithic stone circle in the world. In the world. So why people yep Stonehenge is fantastic but it's so incredible about this place this is insane I can't believe I've never been here before but if you get a chance to come here I suggest you do because it's very special and all I'm doing is following these huge Megaliths, look at this one here, look. Around this circle. L shape. What's still underneath it that hasn't been discovered? I can feel myself being drawn. 
We're being drawn here over that way. So that's where the pub is. Pub. Brilliant here, love it. And the other thing about this place is that you don't get it with Stonehenge. Stonehenge is circled by security now and have security guards on patrol all night. Here, you can touch every stone, lean on it, take your shoes off, walk around them, ground yourself. I mean, that's what a lot of what a lot of modern ailments are you know we don't transfer our energy between us and the earth anymore we walk around in rubber soled shoes all the time don't feel the grass beneath that's beneath our feet bearing in mind the earth is basically a great big capacitor which contains energy so that energy's got to flow somewhere right it's as simple as that it's physics man but I think I'll go and have a spot of lunch in the pub and then continue my walk. did pop into the pub and had a non-alcoholic beer however what I would suggest you to do here a couple of tips get here early because that car park is flipping ramoed after about 10 o'clock that car park is ramoed and if you want to eat in the pub pre-book because I went in there for a quick a quick beverage and um, I'd have had to wait for an hour I wanted to eat so I grabbed a sandwich at the National Trust shop just to support the National Trust I'm just walking up this park here I think it's up to the Barber Surgeon Stone just walking up here now just for a little look so behind me there that's Avebury now the car park is £10 all day from motorhome which I paid and I've just asked the lady when I've got to be off and she said, when it gets dark. That was it. There's no overnight parking in the car park. And it's patrolled, apparently. So that's good, because I think Mark's going to get out of his course about six half six. So, 
I'll be catching up with him then. I'll go down and just say goodbye to the guys. And uh, see what's what. And then we're going to head to Stonehenge. Probably by the time we get there, it might be dark, so I don't know if I'll get any footage tonight of that. But tomorrow morning, if we get parked on the drove, which we should do, we we'll squeeze ourselves in in Gladys. I'll, um, I'll show you a bit of footage there. It's very warm today. Went back to the van, did a bit of edit editing, downloaded some, some videos. Because we've been so busy all weekend, I just haven't managed to get a video out when I wanted to. So, I don't know when this one will be going out. I'll have to get stuck into it when I get home on Sunday. Hopefully I can get the Glastonbury one, which you may have seen before this one. Up by Sunday. But anyway, it's a very warm day. I went back to the van, did a bit of editing, and I might have had a nap. Old and I. All over these stones, as a bit of interest, is this stuff. And that yellow up there. And that's lichen. Some others there. Lichen. And that's a symbiotic relationship between a plant and a fungi. So it's actually a plant and a fungi living in harmony together. Why can't we all do that? Plants and flipping fungus can do it. Ah, oh, hello. Ah. Hello. see this there's some megalith still there but if you look this way this was obviously a pathway or road into where the stone circle is into Avebury through those portal stones you can see the markers that I was talking about earlier on either side that must have been amazing to actually traveling come all this way from sometimes different countries different continents and then turn up here and come down this big megalithic clad megalith clad avenue down into what would have been a hustle and bustle of people perhaps there's people here with like trading different things flint animal skins food maybe cooking food the smells and the sights and then get into that big megalithic stone circle that must have absolutely blown your mind to see what had gone on here absolutely incredible I'm going to have a walk back into Avery now. I'm going to see where my bruv is. Good morning. It's the next day. And I'm taking you somewhere special because you're special. Just like to thank first Ron and Linda your coffee thank you so much i truly appreciate that and also julie brooks thanks julie thanks for your super thanks your sweetheart thank you very much and there's a special surprise for you three i'm somewhere very special today i'm taking you with me so it's the next day my brother's made his drum and I'm going to wrap the video up, but firstly, I think we see Gladys over there, and we are here. Let me spin you around. This is what you want to see, isn't it? There she is. St 
Stonehenge. On a misty, misty morning. Look at that. And there's the hinge. How cool is that? It's very cool this morning, quite cold. And them two poor f fellows. <laughs> I've been up all night guarding them stones, making sure no one gets in there and de defaces them. But look at that. The mist always sits in this little valley here. Can you imagine what this would have been like for our ancestors? Seeing that appear out of the mist. That is amazing. I'll bring you to all the best places, don't I? Look at that. So we've been to Glastonbury, Avebury, and now Stonehenge. Sheep ain't impressed though. There we go. And this road that runs along here and goes up to the A303 is known as the Drove. And as you can see, there's quite a few camper vans and motorhomes parked along there. That's the end you usually find the uh, people that drive in and think, well, I better park here. And that's usually the people that know where they're parking. You can come in from Lark's Hill in end, or you can come in from the A303. But look at that. There you go, finishing this one off here. So it's been a great weekend with brother. There he is. And a good one, brother, isn't it? Yep. And uh, just going to go back, have a cup of tea, and then trundle on our way back to what we normally do. And I, I'm off again next week. Go somewhere up to meet some friends so stay safe oh, look, look like I've got a halo stay safe stay sane love to you all I'll catch you on the flip side from Stonehenge Bosh Bosh